You can do anything you want. Where are you going? What are you doing? It's never been an option. <clears throat> Maybe an old farmhouse, some land, a ranch. Cool. What kind? Sheep. I would raise sheep. They're quiet. Do what they're told. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, just you and a bunch of sheep. Romantic. HBO can't be allowed to do this to us every single week. That, oh my God, yo. <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought, uh, <sighs> yo. <laughs> oh my God, yo. If, if Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey aren't up for like awards already next year, they need to be up for awards already next year because holy oh. this was an emotional episode like no act well no action until like the last five minutes but even then it was like five seconds of action like just unburdening all of the emotional baggage first off the couple that we meet at the beginning of this episode fucking hilarious and i hope we meet them again because it is just funny as hell how chill that woman was that joel basically broke into her house and was holding her gun uh, at gunpoint that she made my man suit and was like answering all his questions like it was nothing and it was super chill of the husband basically coming back um i have to watch the episode again but i think they were native americans because they talk about the fact that their tribes and anywhere near where uh people used to be is basically all infected and dead and he's like yeah anything west west of that river is dead leave it alone don't go in that direction but of course you know joel's going to be heading up there anyway because number one he has to deliver to uh, uh ellie to the fireflies and then he also has to find tommy as well to make sure that tommy is okay but i like the idea of how they are presenting Jackson. Because in the game, Jackson was just like this community. And it's this community that's way away from civilization. And they kind of go on uh, patrols and every once in a while they may have a raider, but they're mostly deal with infected. It's interesting to see how the people that don't know Jackson exists interact with Jackson. Because for this guy and his wife, Anything on the other side of the river is death. We do not go there. And then you find out that the reason why it is death is because of Jackson. They're creating this, this mystique about the area that it's super dangerous and you shouldn't come over here. Otherwise you're gonna get killed and your body is basically gonna end up like the bodies we're leaving here on the river. Perfect. That is how you instill fear in people who are unsure of the unknown. You prevent them from coming into your area using fear tactics. That way, the ones who decide to brave your area, they're always high on anxiety and they make mistakes. That's extremely good. I freaking enjoy that. I also like the culture shock of basically how the other areas have basically been presented so far in the show to how it is in Jackson because Joel and Ellie get into Jackson and they're looking around like, what the hell is going on around here? They've got power, they've got water, they've got they've got a market, they've got a pharmacy, they've got a school. It's like the Boston QZ could never, and the Kansas City QZ most certainly ain't. They is dead. That bloater and that horde ran through the rest of Kansas City like it was nothing. Like, I know it's not fully Joel and Ellie's fault what happened, but Poor planning and battle tactics led to the eradication of basically an entire city. That city is done. That city is dead. There ain't nobody going to Kansas City anytime soon. Like, I'd have probably let the old man know. I'd have been like, hey, we've been walking for about three months. If you decide to go east, big X. <laughs> avoid, avoid Kansas City as hard as you can. Now, 
Joel having, it's not really PTSD, it's, it's, it's anxiety attacks. I've had those before. So the second he had that first one, when he stepped out of the, the house, ears ringing, um, um, flop sweat, can't really breathe. I was like, yeah, he's having an anxiety attack because for the first time in his life, and I like how they're doing, how their relationship is basically just slowly building and building and building until it's gonna become the father-daughter relationship that we're aware of in the game, where he's afraid he's going to lose Ellie. And you see that again when he has an anxiety attack, when the dog goes up to her, where he, he wants to jump in and save her, but he knows that if he does that, he's gonna get killed. And then she's probably also gonna get killed if the dog smells the infection. So when his anxiety attack is basically happening, he is absolutely terrified. And then instead of hearing the dog growl and attack her, he hears them laughing. And then it's like, whew, sigh of relief. Not really sure how I feel about them swapping, well, race swapping the character from the game. Uh, because if you don't know, Tommy's wife in the, the game is, is white. Then again, both Tommy and Joel have some, uh, so, uh, they're, they're Latina, in, la, what is it now? It's not Latino, is that Latinx? They're Latinx in this show. So the swap isn't anything major. Funny enough, um, I got over it super fast, except for the fact that as they're coming into Jackson, uh, on top of one of the, the, the support beams, I guess like where they walk back and forth for patrol, is someone that looks exactly like Maria from uh, the game, which threw me off because I thought that, okay, we're gonna have like this interesting side character and then we're gonna meet Maria and Tommy back inside the city. So when I saw her, I was like, oh, that's Maria. So we're gonna see her inside the thing. And then of course, like three seconds later, it's like, nah, son. <laughs> my, my, oh, oh, you fine. You find find goddess you oh okay like she basically introduced herself as maria also I, the baby thing is not something that i'm aware of from the game i do not remember tommy having a kid in the game so it's interesting to see that they have a kid or a kid on the way in the show i'm happy for tommy because i feel as though tommy will make a great father and and while he says that you know he wants to be a dad and do the right thing and stay here we both know that uh, certain events may lead to him basically deciding that that is no longer an option and waging a one-man war on the entire West Coast. But we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We will get there in season two. I liked the fish out of water feeling for both of them, where Joel and Tommy are basically having like that super heart to heart. And from Joel's perspective, he thinks that Tommy hates him. He hates him for basically everything they had to do after Sarah died. And for Tommy, it's like, no, I loved you. I just realized that staying with you, we were both drowning. Like you were drowning extra hard after Sarah's death and you kind of made me your mission. So I realized that if I moved away and I got away from you, maybe you'd open up and you would find something to live for. And of course, we the fans, we know that the person he's living for is Ellie. And he tries to push away from that by basically forcing Ellie on Tommy. And they have that second heart to heart in the barn. And oh my God. Yo, if Pedro Pascal and Diego Luna don't win fucking awards for this show, I'm going to be absolutely upset and out of my mind. And then also the conversation between both Pedro Pascal and, and, and Bella Ramsey in the room where she basically brings up the fact that, you know, I'm not Sarah, like, you know, I'm not your daughter. And then he goes, you know, I'm not your dad. I know it, it's super weird. That conversation is the conversation that basically pushes the relationship from uh, um, uh, courier and package to stepdad and stepdaughter. Because after they're able to get over that emotional hurdle where Joel decides, no, he's not gonna leave. And then Ellie's like, fuck you old man, take the goddamn bag and let's go. When they wake up in the morning, that is now them moving on with a new level to their relationship. And you see that before where he was reluctant to teach her how to shoot, now he's teaching her how to shoot a sniper rifle. Now he's teaching her how to uh, um, um, 
track things and then always watch her six to make sure nobody's following you and doing this and doing that and paying attention. He's imparting his wisdom on her so that she would be self-sufficient in the future. If there is anything about this episode that I can say that I didn't really like, it's the ending, specifically the the college section. College section the game is expansive. It's really big. It's a giant firefight. I thought my boy was gonna get hit with the rebar where he falls off and he lands and the rebar stuck out of his side. Didn't happen. He just got stabbed. Uh, I know what group that is. We're gonna wait until we get to next episode so that other people can see that group and how fucked up that group is when they get basically fully introduced. But, but now we're getting into the, is it the one month? I think it's one month where, or maybe it's not one month, but it's like two weeks where Joel's basically injured and Ellie has to take care of him. Now it goes from him being her protector to her now being his protector and, and what she's willing to do and the danger she's going to be in now that Joel's no longer there to be able to protect her. But bravo once again like i said before every single episode of this season has been absolutely fucking fantastic i cannot wait until uh next season because i already know what's gonna happen i already know how triggered people are gonna be and i'm gonna absolutely love every single freaking second of it uh i cannot wait until next episode once again i say that at the end of every single episode every single week like i'm not gonna lie look 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 chinese hackers look at me chinese hackers <laughs> like you guys hacked Game of Thrones like season six and gave us like five episodes one weekend. Look, look at me, look at me. I need you to hack into whatever vault HBO has all this stuff locked away in. Go ahead, hack in, get up in there, get in them guts. I need you to get me these, this, this, this video, get me this information, get me this on film, put that thing up on the, t on, 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 on the, the sites, you know the sites, put them up on the site so we can see them early because this wait is excruciating but we're gonna have to do it anyway and that's the end of the review let me know what you guys thought about this recent episode of the last of us comment down below if you're new to the channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button welcome to the family and i will see you in the next one peace